Today we're going to be covering the herb vervain. The Latin name for vervain is verbena officinalis. The AKAs and also known as are Britannica, the herb of enchantment, and Juno's tears. The plant family that vervain falls into are verbenaceae. The gender of vervain is female. It is a feminine plant. The planets that vervain is strongly connected to are Saturn and Venus. Vervain's element is Earth. The uses of vervain vary. From the utilization in love spells, it can be used for protection of one's home, it can be used to purify one's energy field, it can be also used in spells of money magic, in sachets, and also can be put into the shoe to attract prosperity into one's home. You can also spread it into every corner of the home to promote prosperity in your life. It also can bring forward good luck. Vervain is said to be a sedative that can be used in helping someone who can't get sleep at night. They could hold it in their hand, especially if it's freshly picked. They could also burn it before they go to sleep and they can be coaxed into a deep sleep. Vervain can be used for healing rites and also help in strengthening curse work. It can empower any kind of magic, but the main spells that it is used, utilized in that have the best results are love spells. Vervain can also be used for anti-aging. It can help you to connect as an offering to demonic spirits that connect to the Saturian current. The main demon or ruler that loves vervain is Lucifer. Vervain is also an herb that be can be used for necromancy. It can be used to protect your home from storms and electricity. It's also an herb that can help you to become protected from any curses any energies that are being sent at you, especially if you were to put it in a sachet and put it onto your body. It's a very good deflective herb as well. Vervain can be used to increase your divination abilities, but also can help you to strengthen all of your psychic abilities in every facet. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I really appreciate you. See you in the next one.